Hey, what's up everyone? It's your friend 23 here, and welcome back to a new episode of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. In, be in the last episode, we redesigned the house, and also we, we did the, um, the side adventures here, which gave us some loot. Uh, not, not, not nothing, nothing special. <laughs> but we redesigned the house, I showed it in the last episode, just to have more, like... Shields, uh, spots, and also weapon spots, and above us here we have uh, three uh, bow, bow slots. And in between the episodes I also cooked some food, because we were in dire need. So now we have a lot of full healings here, and also a lot of food that heals different amount of hearts. And some, some boost food as well. And I was thinking today we're gonna... Go back here, because we have a lot of things to do still. Mm -mm, like finding that shrine, for example. Also check what this... This chasm leads, where it leads. And also actually unlock this place. Which is this here. We're gonna start with going there. And we have the whole Kuroko forest still to, to explore. I was like, is two of the stones gone? But no, they just didn't render in. Okay, so now it's worth to buy a car. And I'm thinking the first thing I want to do here is... ...to find the shrine that was this way. Or maybe not, actually. Maybe not. Maybe not. Oh, that's um... Let's see where the car landed. Oh, that's a chest I want to, to grab, so I'm just gonna do that in between here. So I saw it last episode, but I was like, I'm gonna go back to it later. Not the most worth loot, to be honest. <laughs> Like, how many do we have of those? Uh, come on. 642, yeah. I'm not in the most need of Bright Bloom Seeds. Okay, so where's the plan? The plan, I guess... What is this thing? The plan would be to go into the ch chasm, but I'm not sure if I want to do it the first thing I'm doing here. But I guess... I guess there's... that's where I'm going at the moment, so... <laughs> Let's just do it then. Maybe we can find some more uh, Sonai as well here. There it looks a bit sus. What is that red thing? That's weird. Why not just glide over there then? Oh, it's um, It's a Giga hideout, huh? But that's actually good, because I know it's a lot of, like, um, auto-build schematics that you can get from the Giga down here. I haven't found any of them. I have found one. I have found one, I think. So will this give us a recipe for this, like, tank-looking thing? That would be crazy, actually. Was that it? <laughs> yes, it was. But I think this might be a nice schematic, actually. It has like a tank. You can just put something in the front for uh, extra... Extra safety. So it's harder 
to hit you with that. And let's just go and see if we get that schematic from, from the chest here. Nice, we have soon enough for one new battery as well. Ooh, the aerial cannon, huh? That was not that car. Also, is it something to read here? Under the Colosseum ruins, on the surface, an imposing building, similar to the same Colosseum, has been discovered. Under the Colosseum ruins, on the surface, under the Colosseum ruins on the surface, an imposing building similar to the same Colosseum has been discovered. There are reports that many as six such structures exist in the depths. There is one in the deepest depths below the Kuroko forest near here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But there are rumors of earring growls coming from inside. A courageous team members went to test their metal. Uh, but we haven't heard from them in quite a while. We hope they are safe. Torches must go. Okay, so that means that this place under the Kuroko, this one. But that's not... Because I'm still like, where is the hideout that we snapped a picture on? It might actually be this. I don't think I even have that picture left still. You, I do, I do actually. That's nice. I'm not sure if that's the Colosseum or the walls. I'm still lost. Because I want to do the Giga Clan uh, questline also soon here. Because... I want the Giga gear. It looks cool. <laughs> that's that's something for the future, I guess. At least now. Because now we're down here. I see a big frog there. Those are nice to kill for... Um, or uh, Sonai, because usually they drop a lot of Sonai, and also it's like where deposits exist usually, also besides it. So you get like double loot for it. And I'm thinking if it's an enemy here, it should be at least approaching a bright uh, route, a glooming route. I saw one in the distance there. And this is the one that we have taken a picture on, yeah. Ah! Some Sonai ore, why not? We have a lot of large Sonai, I see. We should actually go and buy some crystallized charges for... ...for the batteries, so we can max out the battery soon here. So how come there's no bright bloom? I forget what they called uh, these ones in the distance. Those ones right there. That's what I'm searching for. Now we're straightly under the shrine that we were above earlier. That's nice. We really needed to get some map unlocked here so we know where we're going okay so that's the top we have nothing more to to do in the north let's fight this dude I 
think this weapon will do. Ah, oh, damn. Tried. Okay, we will try the the bomb in the mouth. But I failed, but it was a crit either way, which <laughs> was nice. Was super far away though. Nice. One more. One more. And aim bot quickly here for a crit. Nope. There we go. Come on. One more. That's unfortunate. No. There we go. Took a bit too many hits there in the end, I would say. Obsidian Frox Fang. So that was a different type of those frogs, huh? So long it drops me a lot of loot, I'm happy. This place right here is why I did it. We need to fuse something. Why not try this? Because I think that counts as a blunt. Yeah, yeah. Actually, a pretty good blunt weapon. For a one-handed. Is that the same thing I was at earlier? That you can like teleport up to the... Oh, maybe it's like different places in the dark forest if you... Ascend on different places actually. Because it's some places in the dark forest, I'm like, how am I even supposed to, to get there? So I will actually do this. And just mark that for now. That's even outside of the dark forest, huh? Then we're gonna go and uh, check it directly, because why not? Isn't this the temple also? That we didn't, did earlier? Now the temple is... Where is the goddamn? Yeah, that's the temple, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're just behind the temple now, coming from the other side. Oh, is this actually uh Oh, that's a uh, ascent thing. I was thinking maybe it's a mine where you can buy things. Also, while we, since we find new mines here in the depths. That's nice. Now we have good vision here on this part of the depths. Okay. I'm 
gonna backtrack and just ascend up here just to see where we where we land and then I'm gonna probably decline the ascend and keep going here for a bit no that's no good for my car I was wondering what what was down there just but it didn't look like anything okay where will this take me? I guess maybe it's a place to get to this Skyview Tower if you didn't fly like I did. So we're gonna go back. We have no real use of being there again. I hope the car is still, still here though. So some muddle bud. Thank you. Let's just see if the car is still here. I don't think it is. Nope. Went down there, huh? Because I know it's a lot of things to do here, but I'm feeling like maybe we should just not be in the depths this episode, also. Uh, 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 uh. So I'm actually thinking. Like one part of me wanna do the go and get the the main sword. One part of me wants to do some memories. Maybe we should just not main sword, master sword. Let's just try to re recover the the master sword here. That would be fun. So where is it right now? Am I blind? You can only see it in the sky, huh? So it's right there at the moment. This is quite near, actually. Let's travel there and then see what what way the, the sword is traveling. No, so is that the is that the electric one? No. But if that one is out, is any other dragon out? So I'm searching for the electrical dragon. Maybe I cannot even see it though. I think it should be this way, right? Yeah. Okay, Monster Sword, Monster Sword. Okay, so it's have that as a like a sign. So you have that one. Will it go further away or closer or where it will it go? So give it a few seconds. Now let's check. So it's going this way, huh? But that's actually good because we can go to lookout landing and fly up, and then we might be able to land on the thing. We open up the map now. It's still there, huh? Okay. What is this dragon? 
Ah, oh, it's this maybe this dragon that has the um, the monster sword. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah, that makes so much sense. I wonder if it will cost me life to, to like take, try to take the sword. Because then I wonder if I have enough actually. Now we're closing in. Of course it starts thundering the same second we get here. Good. Everything is okay. Yes, we wanna land on this dude's head. It's a bit scary though. Like, do you have anything else that you want to farm while we have the chance for it? Yeah, you have crystals on you. Shard of Light Dragon Spike. So this is the Lightning Dragon. Freaking hell, I need your claw, dude. I have been searching for you all this time. Of course, we haven't photographed... Ah, we should have photographed the dragons when we were on them also. Can I not photograph this shard? Oops. So here we will actually try to get the claw. Just to get that thing done. Please, dude. Why can I not aim? Let me land again then. There we go. But we're not done. But damn. How are we gonna find that though? I will creep track on it. As quickly as it lands, I'm gonna just snap a picture on it. I think it has landed. I think it landed there. If I'm not mistaken. Or is it? It's actually that one right there. So let me take away the green one. Okay. Let's go and grab this goddamn sword. Hopefully. <laughs> I'm not sure if I am able to. Oh, it's stamina based then. I'm gonna be able to. No worries at all. Those eyes, though, on the dragon. So, two full stealth bar, huh? Is the amount you needed. And also, can you fuse on your uh, Master Sword? I'm a bit scared that that whole um, cutscene will 
make the claw go away. is happening. So you could have done that all the time. Will it cost life now? No. Very nice, very nice. I love it with this hat as in the cutscene as well. Got him! Usually goes like that, huh? The sword reaches you in the future. Okay. He drops us off here, huh? Nice, nice, nice. Uh, the legendary sword that seals the darkness, its corruption has was healed by its time with the light dragon. The blades gleams with sacred luster that can close the demon king. Is that why we never found found the light dragon before? <laughs> because it's that dragon was always gone. Okay. Memories and now we're back here, so For me it would make sense to keep on exploring here But we still have this place where the claw should be and I'm wondering Is it gone or is it still here there? Ah. Here isn't this where we dived down in the beginning Let me just pray, otherwise we can go back to the starting island here. I have a really hard time thinking that that loot is still there. But one can dream. <laughs> one can dream. I hear you, I hear you. Like I saw some particles, but that was just from my own. Damn. It's gone. 
That was what I was thinking, but... Would have been nice if it still was here, though. And let us see what they want me to do here in the... Because they dropped me off here for some reason, I think. We was there, so let's just go here then. Such... So much easier now to travel around on this starting island than in the beginning. So now we can just ascend here. Boom. Say hi to this dude. Oh, I have no weapon on. Like if I ascend here. Do I get to the top? Almost. How many floors is this? <laughs> been waiting so you've been my purpose is to conduct a ceremony to the test the strength of any visitors those who pass are told the story of the great sky island i sense you are qualified to attempt this ceremony please inform me when you're prepared to begin yes i'm prepared now are you ready to attempt the ceremony so that you may hear the story yes very well i will explain the ceremony it's quite simple you must light the three fires on the island and then return here within the time limit you have 12 hours. The sounding of the time bell will signal the start of the ceremony. It will end with the sound of the next bell. This concludes my explanation. There will be a delay before the ceremony can begin. Please wait here until the time bell tomorrow morning. We can start then. Is this acceptable? Yes. Okay, so I need to rest, build a car and then... Let us wait for the island to rise precisely at the time of the 7 a.m. time bell. Time bell. Thank you for waiting. The time has come. Do you want to hear the explanation of the ceremony? Let's hear it. Very well. I will explain the ceremony. It's quite simple. Light three fires, then return here before the next time bell rings, 12 hours from now. Well, that's gonna be easy, I guess. But you must not set foot on any surface other than the roof of this... What did they say? But you must not set foot on any surface other than the roof of this temple during the ceremony. You have 12 hours. The sound of the time bell will signal the start of the ceremony. It will end with the sound of the next bell. This concludes my explanation. It is now time for the ceremony to begin. Okay, so I have 12 hours and I cannot step foot on anything beside this. Oh, are you supposed to use... Without setting foot on any ground except the top of the temple. So I can't even touch those uh, waterfalls thingies. Okay. And I just guess we build the flying car. And also Yunobo, because he's the Sage of Fire, he should be able to light those fires with with him just being on top of this. Or are sages not allowed in out here? I do it like this then. 
And now I failed. <laughs> it was almost a good plan. I'm sorry I failed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will attempt it again. Maybe I just have to put some flame uh, cannon on, on the front of the flying car then. hear it. I'm just gonna skip it through it. We have one fire there. Where is the next fire though? This is actually a pretty hard uh, challenge. Except especially when I don't have full batteries. Okay. Let's try it again. And also this time I'm gonna put out my only flame emitter. Um, and I guess we don't want the flame emitter to be too straight ahead. We almost want it to be a bit like angled down. Because when we're flying we're gonna come from above and then we wanna put the flame I think this is actually... This is how we want to do it. But damn, the battery is going so quickly though. That's crazy. That's actually crazy. We have large show nice still, which is good. So here we need to like... Nice, nice, nice. And then we need to find the next flame. Uh, or thingy. Oh, we have nice. I was like, do we have have them spotted out where they are? Okay, so here, large zone I. I hope I hope this will be enough. We have a lot of small zone I also charges, so so we can manage if we really have to. There is one construct we need to kill in the future. Oh, I wonder if it's above us here. I think it is actually. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the large shonai, they were really like, uh, they had a long, long uh, burning time before it... Come on, please be enough. I don't wanna... Yes. I don't wanna touch the water here. And then let's go to the last one. I guess the last one is up here. If I could guess. Also, just for safety, eat one of these. Hold. Oh, there it is. This challenge would be, without this card, this challenge would have been really hard to complete, actually. I was too high up. That's no good. Uh, come on. Also dive, but not too much. That should be enough, yes. And let's go back. I think we need to eat some more energy. It's so close, but it's not gonna be enough. Let's just, just do this. Uh, 
and boom and we're done well done you have proven yourself capable a bit cheaty but who cares I will now give you I will now tell you the story of the great sky island as promised the temple of time and the land it sits upon were once found on the surface of the world this has changed its lands and the land surrounding it now float in the sky there's a reason for this. The hero who will defeat the Demon King will one day awaken at this very site. The site must be kept safe from the Demon King and his followers. It was therefore raised high into the skies. The tremendous power of the sages accomplished this feat long ago. That is the story of the Great Sky Island. And a Sonai fabric. The sages who raised this land into the sky directed me to give this token to the one who heard my story. It is now yours. Well, thank you, I guess. That whole quest line for just one fabric, huh? <laughs> Let's just check inside here also if it's something... something new here, who knows? Oh my god, I'm so bad. Let's just say it's nothing there. Yes, I don't think it was. And we still need the freaking claw, because I failed. I should have just jumped down and, and gotten the claw and then gone up and done the, the Master Sword again. After. Well, it's easy to... To be clever in like hindsight. What do we have to do? We actually have the serenade to Kaisa, so we need to to hear the flute in the stable near Pharon. We have that one we can continue on or visiting stables. That's the mapped out part. Oh, that's the travel medallion. Okay. So we're gonna, gonna go here and continue on the great... F not great fairies, or are they called great fairies actually? Yeah, great fairy. The fr great fairy quest line. So here's... we should have a stable, yeah. So that's where we need to go to find the flute player. gonna glide here so I can oh I really want to go into the storm also because because I think I saw some something there it looked a bit interesting so now when we're in in the sky maybe we should land on some of the islands here on the way to just see what we can find we have these islands here why have I done a shrine in the sky there Yeah, it's probably... I just do that. Where is the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. This should be on this part of the map and not on the sky part. Let me just delete that. There we go. Okay. We have the sky island here. We can just quickly land on... Oh, there is one of those that we need to take a picture on. And also, what is that Wervel Wind? Oh, that's a Chasm, huh? Like Hyla, that's pretty cool. We haven't been here also. Like, we haven't been on the part at all where we started in Breath of the Wild game. Which is quite sad. Because I think the Giga hideout should 
It must be one of these things instead of of the Colosseum, I thought. But anywho, let's go first of all here and snap a picture on this thing. And I really want to go down in the water chasm, but that will have to wait, actually. And if I remember correctly, I need to be on the ground to take the picture, because otherwise it's just gonna be uh, like that. Yeah, I need to make it fall. Ah, oh, this one didn't actually fall. Nice. And then we're going south. Like straight south. Yeah. It's something in that storm. It's really sus. Maybe that's what we should do after the... After the stable quest here. That's wrong click by me, sorry. Oh my god. My bad. There we go. I felt like something should be there and uh, chest makes sense. But we're gonna keep gliding here. Probably to the shrine first of all. So I don't think we will be able to reach the stable without touching the ground first here. So why not go to the stable? Uh, there's the shrine then. And that's also a shrine. I'm just gonna do that. Also, that thing looks so sus. And there's a dragon also. Damn, a lot of things in this area that we have to do. The best thing is to start with the shrine. So we have a point of travel then. Uh, false traveling. Long or wide? That's the question, huh? Depends on what you prefer. Onk. Long or wide, huh? I think they want me to use this for extra extra weight. Oh my god. Come back here, ball. And now we wanna... Oh, that's not enough, huh? Okay. I was scared that the thing was gonna go out, but it stops there. So just a bit more swing on it. That's so close, though. Why wasn't it enough? This should be enough. Very nice. I guess here you should just make it longer. What happens after that? It makes that one opens up. Okay. Oh, 
And you will stop there. Okay. Maybe something like this. That's enough, huh? But if I want that chest, what do I need to do? And also, aren't you like possible to grind on the rails? So do they want me to do this maybe? Oh. That was my bad. Oh, now, now we're back here, so that's nice. If we take this thing and like place it on top of this around maybe we even wanna angle it up like this so like if we attach it like that oh my god don't tell me I can do <laughs> I can't grab it like this now that's a shaky thing to do. Okay. Yes, it was okay. Even though I have all the sneak gear I would need in my lifetime. Let me try to grind over here then. I never done it, but I know you should be able to do it. Oops, oh nice, it locked on. That's a bit sneaky as well. Boom. And we're done. And another health upgrade. Go to the stable then. Highland stable. It's gonna start with going in here. Okay. Let's get this started, then I want you. Huh? And what's that water there? Ah, it's for this light, like, I guess. I will try to do me dirty. Are you electric now? No, good. Wow. But only one damage, what the hell? Anything to loot with? No, but we can use this one on the stone here. That should be enough. Some amber. 
Oh, just what I need. Bright bloom seeds. So I should probably just pick them so I can sell a lot of them. Because I think they sell for two each. So like that's six easy rupees. That's six more and that's six more. So easy collecting for money actually. And then these uh, fishes. <laughs> uh, they are good. I think I can trade them for arrows in Rito Village. Flowers. Let's go and open the chest also. Otherwise, I'm gonna forget that. Nice. Usually, I don't need shields, but now I have put away nine of my shields, so I don't almost have any shields left here. I'm gladly taking shields in in the loot at the moment. Uh, money. Oh, hearty truffle, always nice. Do we want to sneak up on this dude? I think we do. And use something else. I think the nicest way to attack this dude is to jump here. Just to get some... Then just try to get him down in the water. Because I think he will drown from that. Yeah. Gorgeous here, huh? Or something. I don't really want to use fire arrow. And I still used it. <laughs> Oops. Did the, the dude survive that? Oh, he did. And this uh, well was uh, so deep, I didn't really anticipate this depth in the... Oh my freaking gun. Yes, I see you dudes. I was trying to get my sword back. Don't tell me it's too deep down now. It actually is, huh? Now I could take it even. And it's Blood Moon time. Why did it tell me to take it in like one frame? Please let me reach it from here. Thank you. Oh no, it's Blood Hour. Blood Moon. I mean... Okay. Wonder if some enemies have respawned here in this little well. Was that actually no here? Oh my god, it keeps going, huh? Where are you, dude? 
Oh. And this counts as a cave, huh? We have a cave that goes to the well. So then it means we have to still find the... Um, What's it called? The frog thing? I'm not remembering its name, but you know what I mean. I'm freaking god, you're still here, huh? Of course, everything is resetted. Actually, it can be okay, because... There was some nice loot in here, to be honest. I'm okay with fighting everything again. Everything can be killed with just pushing them into the water, which is pretty easy to do here. I'm gonna do it on the silver dude here as well. I'm gonna get the right angle on him. Ah, oh, this is not a good angle though for the headshot. Nope. <laughs> that was the worst angle you could give. Alright, let me just jump up. Hello, dude. Here you are, and here I am. God damn! Didn't anticipate me missing that shot. Oh shit, I'm one shot from death here. Especially when he shoots. <laughs> that was nice. Why didn't I just use him from the beginning? Now that I think about it. These vocal lobbing guts, we have, we must have so many of, because I never fused them with uh, my arrows or anything. Okay. So we should probably have some type of intersect here. Yeah. And I guess... I would say like this way for the frog, but no. the hell is this? An ancient blade? An ancient dagger-like blade. It's too small to wield as a weapon, but it can be used as an arrowhead. Okay. That's cool. Is that it, huh? Of course you are here. Any enemies. You're not gonna get me, though. Okay, so here he is. I'm thinking... Sword is... This breaks soon, so why not just throw that on him for some damage? And then... I need to fuse weapons, I see here. Um, that's something I really need to do. Let's use this then, just because it has a lot of damage. And also poke, because he has poke as well, with the spear. It can be nice to have the same range as well. And also, yeah, those are here now, I have to remember. He's dead now, which is nice. Oh, he hit them. Damn, 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 damn. Let me, let me have time, please. At least one hit. Okay. One, let's just take these likes, likes now. Dude, wake up. Don't touch the water. There we go. Ah, oh, I thought I killed it. Nice. 10 attack up. And also, oh, quickly. I think I see something of entrance here. I will show you in a second. That one. I think maybe there's where the frog is hiding. Oh. Yeah, I don't want to carry any more weapons. I want to open the chest. Please. Probably another shield. Ok, 
Okay. Don't need. Don't need. Should we just take... Before we climb up there. Okay, but loot, of course, we need to do. There we go. And also... Fuse some weapon, I think, is a smart idea here. Sort everything. We have some one-handed, which are good. I know this is a multiplayer, right? So when you use something, you get times two. Yes, this one on the times two weapon. It's not times two, huh? But 50 is still good. Still really good. Uh, and we need uh, one, two, four, five, six. I guess this should destroy the fuse also. That one we don't want to fuse because we want it for, for another thing. So let's just bring out some of some materials here. We have actually a lot of these and a lot of these. Maybe one of these. Okay, let's just... We have one spear here. We wanna fuse with the tail. For the extra range. And then a two-handed. Let's do the one handeds first here. Why not that there? This one can take one of these. And this one can take this one. So let's just go up and take this thing here. What's it called? The, the frog. The boko thingy thingy froggy. That I don't remember the name on. Oh shit, it was actually a lot of loot here as well. Which is nice. Nice, nice. And there's the frog also. Hello froggy. I have been searching for you. But I appreciate all, all this extra loot you have put here for me. But I still had to, to kill you for the bubble gem. Now we have five of those also, which is nice. Is that everything? No, one more. Go. Let's grab this bomb, and then we probably can just ascend here, because now we're done in this game. And then let's glide down here. And we have some things to do in this place. We have to talk to the flute guy. We also need to find our dear, uh, dear flying friend, this dude, and do his quest line. And also we have a Kuroko here, so we will just mark you on the map. Because why not? Because we're gonna help you in the future, but not right now. I'm gonna take these, because these are good for cooking. And then I'm gonna get my pony points. Yeah. Ah. 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 From here, we're gonna actually end the episode here. I'm gonna sleep in between the episodes for a new fresh morning here as well. If you have enjoyed watching today's episode, please consider liking the video, it helps me a lot. Also, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. This has been 23, thank you for watching, I will see you in the next video, bye bye.